So adding a plate like this, or a boss, I mean, like this, to the plate I have here. The only material I found was this brass uh, bar. Just use that end, I guess. And uh, three pieces I make. And uh, my most used tool, and also the worst looking, worst uh, accurate, but still useful tool with a uh, well, not not the newest motor, but it's three phase, so I can and quite hefty. So, uh, I think we can run this without any coolant. Chips flying, uh, especially brass. It's nice to have this shield. Get power feeds. So I feed in with the compound, of course, to get the uh, the right angle, just measuring out. And slow it a bit down to park off. So I found all the T-nuts and I have uh, bought a bag of them, so um, I modified the block here to have the boss like you have on the normal pound slide. And now uh, this um, uh, guiding strip here of metal is uh, not needed anymore really. I could have dealt with it in another way also, I guess, with pins that located it or with um, uh, a screwed in, like you have on a Weiss piece of metal, a strip. Uh, the reason I wanted to have, uh, if I had a strip I, uh, with these holes here, I would have only had a strip in the middle and uh, I thought that could be wobbly. But um, yeah, anyway. And this is, uh, of course, uh, dismountable, would one say like that? At least you can take it off if you want to. And then uh, for test turning, at least uh, it's a temporary measure. We use this rubber pad, also um, just secured with uh, screws and uh, my for T slope knots. So then we can test turn a little bit. So just turning manual. Meaning no ELS. Oh. 
function. That was of course just a small steel bolt, but using this uh, groove tool, in both the uh, face and I can uh, turn longitudinally. So um, I like that too. And as you could hear here, there was uh, no apparent chatter. And um, yeah, we'll test it and then also test it uh, with um, a normal against a normal compound. So to see really.